But look, it's actually been a really emotional day here at GB News after we learned of the retirement of our superb colleague, the legendary journalist and broadcaster Alastair Stewart. After being thrown under the bus uh, by ITV's woke mob after a historic nearly half a century run, including presenting Britain's first ever leadership debate while at ITN, Alastair joined GB News before our launch two years ago. He hosted his final episode of Alastair Stewart and Friends last weekend, but will continue to work with GB News as a contributor and commentator on major news events such as the King's coronation. Alastair, who is 71 now, praised GB News for, quote, liberating him as a journalist and described his career as the best job in the world. He's looking forward to spending more time with his family, animals and charities dear to his heart. And, well, he deserves to bow out after this exemplary career. And finally, the tenpence in your pocket is getting smaller. The Bank of England, which will save millions in production costs, claim it's what the public wants. Not everyone thinks it's a change for the better, to coin a phrase. Good evening and welcome to the first election debate. Over the past 50 years, there have been numerous attempts to get the leaders of the three biggest political parties to debate with each other during an election. Tonight, history in the making. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Alastair Stewart and I will be with you for the next three hours. Joining me are old friends and new, but mostly, I hope, you. 25 minutes to seven, and Buckingham Palace has indeed confirmed in the last few moments that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II has died. And that's news at 10. From Carol and from me, a very good night to you. At the end of an historic moment in television and political history, a very good night to you. Until then, a very good afternoon to you, and indeed, have a lovely week. Bye-bye for now. Alastair Stewart, OBE, you go down as Britain's longest-serving newsreader and a legend of this business. Uh, thank you for being a friend to me and to so many young colleagues here at GB News. Uh, you poured your heart and soul into the launch of this channel. It was really tough here a couple of years ago, and we couldn't have done any of this without you. We're going to miss you very, very much.